Okay, I was pretty happy with how that last game turned out. I didn't play amazingly, but I didn't play egregiously. And I felt that I punished the opponent pretty well for the moves that he was making, which is really just how I'm trying to play. I don't think I'm looking for amazing strategies. Ooh, seems like a anti-fried liver defense. Oh, okay, so he's just trying to stop my knight from jumping here. That's fine, I'll just keep developing. Um, okay, cool, so he's attacking my pawn. I'll defend my pawn. But yeah, I didn't have like any crazy plays that game. I sort of just punished the one mistake that the opponent made sort of towards the end there where he got his queen way too deep in my territory. I think he put his queen on like h7 or something. Or I know it was uh, g7. And then from there, his g file was open and it was kind of all over. But I don't really feel like I had like any amazing plays or anything like that. Sort of just tried to punish, punish some moves. I think he might try to go b5. I don't know if I open up a hole. For my bishop to run to here. Hmm. Maybe I just develop. Maybe if he goes back here, I can always run back to e2. And maybe I should just focus on my own develop. Oh, I don't want to block this in quite yet. Hmm. I think I'm just going to make a little cubby for my bishop there. I was thinking he could go b5. At that point, I'd want to go b3. He can always jump the knight, and then my bishop is stuck. So that's the thought process there. Push the center here. He pushes center. I'll probably just trade off the bishops here. Simplify it a little bit. Okay. He hasn't castled yet. Okay, this is fine. Obviously, I'm going to retake. I'm just thinking about what his next move is going to be. Could go here. He could he'll probably castle. I'm guessing he'll probably castle, huh? Mod Yusufudin. Mod Yusufudin. Am I pronouncing that right? Okay, kind of expected that. So I made my little hole here. Okay. Two in between moves there, didn't really accomplish anything. Okay, he's attacking my queen. Okay, I have to be mindful of forks here. So we go e2. Well, let's think about this. I think I just go e2. Uh, I think whatever he ends up doing next, I'll probably just kick his knight. Lots of dead air. How do we clear it? I don't know. Wait for the next move, I guess. Okay, cool. Um, 
trade-off. He'll take the knight. I'm kind of tempted to take his knight here. Uh, no, just kidding. He's got the bishop pointing at it. Okay, so this is kind of a forced move. Um, I can attack his queen. I think I'll do that. Day one me would have taken this knight and not noticed this, but... I've experienced so much pain losing my queen in the past few games just due to tunnel vision and not looking at the entire board just trying to get better at it if there's one piece i want to scan the whole board for before moving it it's the queen um okay so i think he's looking for something like this which means i'm gonna go for the fork <laughs> I do still have to be careful. These are um, two active threats here that I have to be mindful of. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I should have gone um, after these pieces here first. Hmm. That's kind of a move, isn't it? I do have boom, boom, check. Hmm. I'm a little worried here. I'm a little worried about what he's going to do here. I don't want to get checkmated over this. It'd be really embarrassing. He's got a hanging pawn here. Yeah. Pawns defending there. Okay. I do have a really interesting move. Um, if I can get my queen out to here and then move my knight. I think what I'll do is this. Is this a mistake, guys? Is f3 a mistake? I basically just want to move my knight, expose this diagonal, get my queen on f3, and then checkmate. This seems really risky, but I'm willing to try it. I'm willing to bet he'll just push this pawn up. I need to be mindful of this, though. I know the king's defending h2, but, you know. I'm up six, so I have a big advantage. So, yeah, some of you have mentioned that if you have such a big lead, just trade off the game and simplify it, or trade off pieces to simplify the board. So I don't want to get too carried away with making clever moves. Maybe I do just trade off here, huh? Hmm. Let's see. So we can take 
He'll probably take I'll recapture. Let's see, maybe there's another move here. This kind of blocks my queen in. Maybe I just trade off. I'll go for it. I mean, if he wants to take the rook, that's fine. I can always just trade back. I want to just push up one pawn so I don't get back rank meta, even though it's really unlikely at this point. Although um, this is open, so I think at this point I need to just play it safe. I think I should have traded queens there to avoid this pitfall here. I'll push up the h pawn just to make an escape square for the king in case I do something really silly. Oh, he had that as well. Okay, cool. Um, I'll go for the trade. I have a check here. Hmm. Hmm. Should have kept this open dag or this open rank in mind. Hmm. I think, oh, this is really close to checkmate, but not quite. Can't go there. His uh, knight is defending that. I guess I do have this, huh? This is check. I believe this is just checkmate, right? He can't go g6. Queen's defending that. He can't go on the seventh rank. I know this cuts my bishop off, but... Nice. Yeah, gg. Okay, cool. So that was a fun game. gg mod you sufudin. From Flag Guesser, India. India. Okay, let's review that. Okay, pretty good accuracy. No blunders. Happy about that. Let's start the review. Book opening, book opening, book opening, book opening, book opening, book opening, book opening. Push the center pawn. Good job defending that pawn. That's cool. Interesting. Okay, so <clears throat> ideas like knight d5. Seems a little counterintuitive, blah, 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 counterintuitive to me at the moment because uh, it seems like this launches an attack, right? But one of the principles is to develop your pieces before you start attacking. So why is knight d5 a good move here? And I know I can just show the moves or whatever, but I'm um, just wondering. I don't think it would have played out that way. <laughs> Let's be real. It really wanted the knight to get out there, huh? It suggested that move about three moves in a row. Interesting. Taking with the pawn there. Hmm. I don't know about that. Hmm. I'm not quite there yet to take with the, the pawns that are defending in front of the king yet. I'm not there. This little hole paid dividends this game. So that's good.
Okay, well that was a debate between D2 and E2. Uh, I didn't choose egregiously, so that's good at least. Oh, okay, found the best move there. Nice attack the queen. Yep. I thought that was okay because the pawn was defending. Right, then I had the fork. I was a little nervous playing this move um, just because he had, you know, so much firepower staring down the face of my king. I was a, a bit worried that I was overextending with the knight here. Hmm. It just seemed like too good to pass up on the rook. Kick the, kick the knight, okay. Interesting. Trade here. Yeah, that does make sense. I suppose at this point... Oh no, he's not hanging. I was thinking that the knight on d5 might be hanging here, but um, sort of overlooked that. This was just trading off pieces. Hmm. Checking this way, interesting. I ended up liking this move better, knight to c7, just because it opened up this giant diagonal for the queen, and then his back rank was wide open, so I thought it was just going to give me some checking opportunities, but it looks like I should have just played that move, um, one move earlier. This uh, h pawn push didn't really end up doing anything. A8 plus is a great move, you can now win with a force checkmate. Oh, this was mate in three, nice, I think I actually ended up finding it, right? Nice, so that was just that was just good play there. I was tempted to play f8, um, but I think that would have given him an opportunity to escape this way. And then he had a lot of defense um, going this way, obviously. So yeah, GG mod Yusufuddin, thanks for the game. And see you guys sometime. I probably won't have uh, videos for a couple of days. I have some travel plans in the next couple of days, so I don't think I'll be able to record and upload or play with anyone. But uh, yeah, GG. See you guys later.